Hello, welcome back to Fallout 76. Godem here. We are coming in here to how about paper targets. Although I'm hearing dogs. And we have a couple things going on right now. So we're helping out the Grafton Mayor. We have this big game hunter daily that we're working on. We have, let's pull up the map real quick. Um, this is, I think this is technically another daily. So we're kind of working on that. And then back at, actually, not back at, but up here at the fort, there's another part of a daily. We need to talk to the curator. So we have quite a bit going on right now, actually. Oh, that didn't sound like a dog. Oh, uh, do I want to know what that is? How are we looking at... All right, let's... Before we start getting crazy in some in some stuff here, let's do some Rataway. We can do the Diluted. Let's do some Purified. And we need some food. I, but we have tons of this pre-war food that we can go through to get some health back. All right. Let's scope this area. Oh. Is that all you were was a dog? These dogs growl like that? That doesn't seem right. Let's go about the surrounding area before we get into the trouble here. All right, so those... Both of these lead the same spot. Dude, I don't know. That scares me. Uh, do we have any baseball? We have a lot of frag. I don't know how smart that was to do. All right, so that is all it was. I, did, I honestly did not think they growled like that. Let's make sure it's safe. I wonder what that button does. We have another button. Oh, a bobblehead. It's two episodes in a row with a bobblehead. I like it. All right, where are you? Oh, the buttons are probably uh, it's like a tour. All right. Yeah, this is probably like a tour thing. Well, Civil War, War era suits. We will take that. Bowie knife. Confederate uniform. Wow. If we had a... Uh, if we knew there was a bench around here, I'd pick up more of the stuff. Because we're already getting pretty heavy with all the food that we've been accumulating over the last couple episodes. And it's been a lot. A lot of food. Box of shooting target. Oh, that's what we need. Do we take those back to... The shooting range now, is that what happens? Oh, wait, was that a bullet? Yeah, 50 caliber ball. I mean, might as well. Let's 
So I saw in that microscope the uh, the magnification lens came up. I thought I fixed that. Evidently it's back again. I must have done something. All right. Let's check down here. Just a basket. Just a basket. Drink that up. And let's bring up that daily to see. Do we now have to go back to... Alright, not that one. Put targets on the range. Is that here or is it back at the, back at the shooting range, right? Yes. Back at the shooting range. Alright. We will get there. But now we're heading up to Prickett's Fort. So we're just going to follow the road on up. Oh, 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 come on. Yeah, we have a lot going on right now, man. This is cool. Oh. I don't know if that's cool. Run. Run. We barely did any damage to that thing. Um, Molotov. Where is it? Oh, he took off. Dude, was he going through the uh, the outhouses? Like he was scavenging. And there's food here, or was food. Yeah, ah, oh, Meyer Lurk meat. Uh-oh. That's awesome how he was scavenging like that. We'll take the gunpowder. All right, where is he now, though? Oh, there he is. I see ya. Took him head, faced him head on there, kind of. There we go. Nice. I don't really need the baseball bat. All right, that was pretty cool. All right, let's continue heading up to the fort. Where does that lead to? Ooh. That's some weird pop-up. Oh. No. Yeah, there you go. That's what it is. God race. Oh. Surprised you didn't attack earlier. Oh, you're Blood Eagle. Uh, so there's more. There's Blood Eagles in the area. Alright, so if we got blood eagles in the area, we need to be careful. I can feel it. Something's close. You think? I mean, I just took out your dog. Where are they though? I don't see any movement. Yeah, I'm not seeing any movement though.
They're well hidden wherever they're at. I'll give them credit for that. All right, that must be the fort up there. Got a cop car blocking off the street. I see something moving back there. No. Is that another cop car down there? It might be. There are a lot of cops in this area back in the day because they those cop cars are everywhere. All right, so we need to talk to the curator here and we need to fix the token system. I'm not sure what kind of enemies we're gonna be facing. Oh, uh, you're the curator. Surely there's enemies around here. You're the guide. Let's talk to the guide first. Welcome to the Pickett's Fort historical site. Curator will announce the next show. Please stand by. One. All right. Audio station tour one. Dick Shale here, welcoming you to Prickett's Fort Historical Landmark. This amazing moment in time is brought to you by Nuka Cola. The park features a reconstructed refuge fort and commemorates life on the Virginia frontier during the late 18th century. Join me as we mosey on down the trail to the right for the next part of the tour and take a fascinating stroll through history. Fascinating. It's just fascinating. All right, what do we got in here? Nope, can't get in there. Empty. There's probably nothing inside these things that are... We need on. Oh, there we go. Stim pack. All right, let's talk to the curator. Hello there. You must be from the archaeological preservation team. I have a real problem here. While building new outhouses, we discovered the remains of a Civil War Union soldier. Although the body is highly irradiated and strangely fresh, it's almost like it died 20 years ago instead of 200. Now, I need you to properly inter the body in the Philippi Cemetery, and it needs to be done before our next reenactment. Some remains need a proper burial, although they seem awfully fresh for a civil war. Soldier. So I'm assuming that sounds like that might be a glowing one. Oh. All right, there's that. The majestic Brickett's Fort. So very, very 100% historical. Oh, a combat shotgun. Do we need the tokens for anything? Bobby pin, nice. I like it.
What else we got around in here? All right, Nuka Cola. Uh, we do not need to drink that yet. Although that would give us some health back. Possibly could have. All right, so I think it sounds like we probably have a glowing one around here. So anything else for you? I tell you, it's not right. Bodies shouldn't be popping up just anywhere. No. Nope. It's almost like a lot of people died recently. All right, let's continue. All right, there's an arrow. Strangely quiet. All right, here's number two. This is a typical blacksmith shop where blacksmiths would make horseshoes, various tools, and perform routine repairs by hand. Blacksmiths had a general knowledge of how to make and repair many things, from the most complex of weapons and armor to simple items. Please proceed to the fort to continue the tour. There we go. Ammo, nice. Shotgun shells. I don't see anything back here. We can go up and around. Oh, what are you? Nothing? Wait. Uh, I think it looks like you're just a sign. Alright. I saw a sign. Nothing in there. That leads up and around, but here's this arrow telling us to go here. That's just up and around back there again. All right, let's head on up. You're probably friendly, right? Yeah. All right, number three. Prickett's Fort was surrounded by a tall wall with lookout towers for monitoring the area around the fort. Colonists stood watch around the clock and would alert the settlement if the British were approaching. Inside the fort, we'll see what everyday life was like for the colonists. But first, let me tell you about Nuka Cola. What gives it a unique flavor is the essence of 17 different fruits mixed in just the right proportions to give Nuka Cola its trademark taste. <laughs> Boy, Nuka Cola's refreshing taste really hits the spot. Hmm? Now, let's continue on with the tour. All right, cool. Anything from you? Union soldiers never had to defend Cricket's Fort, but it's fun to imagine they did. Curator will announce the next show. Please stand by. Alright, is this four? Yeah, that's four. Is there anything up in these things? Nothing up in this one. How about across this rooftop? No, I'm not seeing much to anything uh, at all in those. Ooh. Nope. There we go. Got to be careful because I don't... All right, that's just a red roach. <laughs> but uh, this uh, this body we're looking for could be in any one of these, and it's still alive. Well, not alive, but it's a ghoul. 
It's definitely cool. I just, I'm kind of wondering if it's a, uh, a glowing one. The heck is in a hide bundle? Ooh, sniper rifle. Don't need it, but it's nice. Alright, so we got those two over there. Alright, that's another. So we probably should listen to this. Maybe while we check out those. This building is the colonist company mess hall. That's hard to hear. That's it? Alright. That was quick. What are you? Oh. That was easy. Ooh, nice. I already got one. Trapper chest piece. How are we doing on... Uh, we're, we're doing all right. 29 and 20. Oh, we already have a chest... Uh, a pocket of trapper. 29 and 20. It is actually better. Level, 50, level uh, 25. I don't think I'm 25 yet, but we'll take it. Actually, that's a good question. Uh, I am. I'm level 26, actually. All right. So let's go ahead and put it on. Have to rename this, obviously. Oh, and it's also it's not pocketed, though. So that's going to hurt. Only by five, but, that, uh, but you know what? We're going to keep what we have now since we're kind of in looting mode. Back out. Um, all right, I got turned around. All right, that's where we were. We did those. We have this building. Ah, there's a lot of looting here. This is good. All right, let's go into this main building. Where's this ghoul going to be at? Alright, we need to get both of these. What's up here? Not much. Alright, let's listen to this. As we, I'm sure we can listen. Hopefully we can hear this while we're inside. This is a typical colonist barracks. Soldiers. 14 in here? Adhesive. I like it. Not only do I like it, but we need it. Alright. Um, over here. A lot of wood, that's for sure. That's where we entered. That's there. All right. Let's come back here. Can we get meat off of this? Oh, it's just a... Oh, let's go ahead and cook up. We have a lot to cook. Yeah, look at all that meat we have. Oh, 
Wow, it's so slow. Dude, why is it so? Why is it dragging so much? Oh, that was a lot of cooking. Uh, what number are you? Six. Towers were used to monitor the area around the fort. Watch your step on the catwalks. Nothing up. Oh, we we'll do us some hide. All right, let's get back down. Hey, where is this this body we need to find? Where's it at? This is the main building. Yep. Seven. Colonists would typically keep a campfire going while cooking Interesting. stew or brewing some coffee during the night shift for those who were on watch. Boy, I bet the colonists really wish they had an ice cold, thirst quenching Nuka Cola when those redcoats attacked that early autumn morning. After the tour, be sure to visit the gift shop located northeast of the fort to grab a souvenir and an ice cold Nuka for yourself. Ah, uh, could it be inside the gift shop? Did we go in here? Yes, we did. All right, so where's the gift shop? Over there, maybe? Uh, down there, that looks gift shoppy. So does that, all right, they both do. Um, what's back around this way? Doesn't look like a whole lot. So let's go to the one up top. Anything up here? More blackberries. And then we'll work our way down. All right, so that makes sense because this is eight. So this is going to be a Nuka Cola commercial, isn't it? Welcome to the gift shop, the final stop on our tour. We'd like to thank you for visiting this historic landmark mock up of Cricket's Fort. I say mock up because the real fort was destroyed centuries ago. Science great? Anyway, don't forget to take home a piece of American history from the gift shop. Oh, and make sure to grab a new one for the road. I hope everyone had a swell experience. This is Dick Shales signing off. Well, not necessarily a, a full on commercial, but all the same. Nope, wrong button. Need to hold it. All right, look at the quantum. Oh, there's three. Nice. It's a lot of health. No, I don't think there's anything in here. A spear. Have I seen a spear before in this game? I don't know if I have. Uh, Alright, that's all we're taking from here. Let's head on down to the next one. So I have no idea where this body would be. Oh. Uh, um, looks like it's a small snack shack. Ah, oh, come on. Thank you. Oh, could you? Oh, is it going to be inside one of these?
No, it's not. Oh, look at all the ammo. Oh, we're overweight. And it's not going to be in here. Dude, where is this body we need to pick up? We are desperately in need... Oh, Wonder Glue adhesive of a bench. We need to scrap bad. What's over here? Trash bins. All right, so... We did not come across... Let's go back, talk to the curator. Because we're supposed to have found a body. What's this? Well, this looks like this is the beginning, actually. Yeah. Oh, Lord. And I'm going to continue to pick up. No, I don't need the boxing glove. That's all right. As if they were only a couple of decades old. But that can't be. Alright, what is it that we're looking for? Let's take a look. Get the remains. It's showing us off to the left here. How about in here? Uh, just a vault dweller, though. But that's not what we're looking for. What's up here? Uh, I'm not seeing anything. Uh, let's, oh, I guess we can't select it. Toggle active. Um... Yeah, we'll do it. I really hate to do it, but I think for sake of the video, we need to find this pretty quick. Oh, did I not go in here? No, I did because the door's open. Oh. I complete. I saw this, but I completely overlooked it. I think probably because I thought I was. We were looking for a ghoul. All right. So now we need to go back to that grave. Where was that at? That was back here. All right. So let's go ahead and travel back on up there. Let me get down here. Place. The remains and see what happens. Oh, we're going to have these blood eagles again. Not sure how they did not see me. All 
All right, hopefully this place is still cleared out. And I don't know if we need to put it in a certain grave. I'm assuming we probably do. But once we can start moving again, there we go. We are severely encumbered, over encumbered. We need to do something about that. I'm sure there's some things I can drop. So you guys are back. Picking up more meat that I do not need. Alright, where are we supposed to put this body? Oh, no. Here? No. Oh. You mean the open grave? <laughs> Alright, there we go. Uh, I don't have a shovel. I don't have a shovel. Do I have one? I don't think I do. No, nah, there's no way I'm carrying a shovel. A spear. All right, let's go ahead and drop you. Uh, we're still quite a bit overweight. Uh, let's go ahead and eat. I know it's not going to completely do it, but eat and drink. Because we're carrying a ton of food. I mean, a ton of food. Get that health back up. And let's do another. Let's do a purified. All right. That gets us close. There's nothing I want to drop there. I really don't want to drop any... Oh, I really don't want to drop any junk. I want to keep on... I want to keep hold on that. Let's see what junk weighs the most. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Man, it's like, it's like I've never done this before. All right, there we go. No. What, what am I getting wrong here? What am I getting wrong here? The sorting. L3. There we go. Paper cutter. That weighs the most? Alright, drop it. Two flange. Drop. Shorty, that's oil though. I don't want, want that. Steel and oil. Oil. We can do without that. Copper. Do without the wood. All right, that's good. All right, but we need... Was there a shovel in here by any chance? I do remember seeing a shovel someplace. Yep, it's right there. Oh. There was one right next to it, also. <laughs> well, good on Bethesda to put that there. I just didn't see it. Let's go ahead and drop it now. Drop. All right, that was cool, man. That was cool. Now, we're still working on these other things, so these other tasks. So at least we got that taken care of. All right, so now next... See, the Meyer Lurk thing is kind of bugging me. It's worrying me that we didn't get credit for that. So I don't know where we're going to find those other Meyer Lurks, the remaining Meyer Lurks. So what we can do is, well, we need to come back here. But I'm thinking we should run up here for the Rad Scorpion. And then back down, or... No, you know what? I don't know if we're going to get this this animal one. Let's come over here to uh, to place the targets. Although this does make sense to just go up here. Yeah, we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out, and we're going to figure that out in the next episode. So, 
got that turned on. And look, look who's back. Our little, our Yagwai is back. But anyways, thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing to the channel. And until next time, be safe and have fun.